If you want the code quickly, just leave your email below, and I'll send it to you. However, typing along as we proceed enhances understanding and is highly recommended. Welcome to another episode in our exciting journey through the world of signal processing. Today, we're focusing on high-pass filters, the unsung heroes that let us isolate those higher frequencies by attenuating the lower ones. High-pass filters are everywhere, from audio processing to image enhancement. We're starting with NumPy, a cornerstone library that lets us handle arrays and mathematical operations with ease. And of course, what's a tutorial without some eye-catching visuals? We're using Matplotlib to plot our signals, making the effects of our high-pass filter not just understandable but also visible. Visualization is key in signal processing and matplotlib is our window into the world of data. Here comes SciPy, bringing its signal processing capabilities into our toolkit. Specifically, we're focusing on the Butter and L filter functions. Butterworth filters, known for their smooth frequency response, will help us create our high-pass filter. Let's dive into defining our high-pass filter. The Butterworth High Pass Filter is our choice today for its flat response in the passband. A smoother transition makes it a versatile pick for various applications. Calculating the Nyquist frequency is our first step. It's half of our sampling rate and a critical concept in digital signal processing to prevent aliasing, ensuring our signal remains faithful to the original. We normalize our cutoff frequency with respect to the Nyquist frequency. This step is crucial for the butter function to accurately understand our high-pass filter requirements. Generating the filter coefficients with the butter function. We specify high for high-pass filtering, aiming to preserve those higher frequencies while attenuating the lower ones. Now, it's time to apply our high-pass filter to a signal. This function wraps up the process, taking in our raw data and outputting a version with the lower frequencies attenuated. First up, we call our butter underscore high-pass function to get the necessary filter coefficients. Then, we apply these coefficients to our data with L filter, performing the high-pass filtering magic. Setting the stage with our sampling rate at 5000 Hz. In digital signal processing, the sampling rate determines the highest frequency we can accurately capture. Creating a time array to simulate one second of signal. This will help us visualize our signal in the time domain. Let's craft a composite signal with a mix of frequencies, a perfect candidate to demonstrate the prowess of our high-pass filter. Our filter's cutoff frequency is set at 150 Hz. Frequencies below this will be significantly attenuated, letting us focus on the higher frequencies. Applying our high-pass filter to the signal, we're ready to isolate those higher frequencies and see the filter in action. Time to plot. A larger figure size ensures that every detail of our signals is visible and appreciated. Our first subplot showcases the original signal. Notice the mix of low, mid, and high frequencies. Here's our original signal, a harmonious blend of frequencies. Before filtering, it's a bustling metropolis of sounds. And now, the reveal. Our signal after high-pass filtering. Voila, the filtered signal. The low frequencies are attenuated leaving us with the crisp clarity of the higher frequencies. We label our Zaxis with time in seconds. 
Clear labels are the hallmark of good data visualization. A grid aids in visualizing our data, providing a structured backdrop to our signal story. The tight axis option ensures our plot snugly fits around our data, making no frequency left unseen. And there it is, our signal before and after high pass filtering. The difference is clear and demonstrates the utility and effect of high pass filtering in signal processing. All right, we've just seen the program in action and checked out the results. If you found this useful and enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share with others who might benefit. For more in depth support or engineering consultancy services, head over to eprogrammer.com. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.